Hey everyone, Mr. W here. Uh, today's lesson is number patterns, part six, uh, input and output tables that are using subtraction rules. An input output table is a table of numbers that have uh, two columns. It has an input column here on the left side and an output column here on the right. The input number is the number that we start with. The output number is the number that it turns into. So 145, something happens and it turns into 130. 100 is what we start with and it turns into 85. Uh, it's our job to figure out which change is happening. You know, are we adding or multiplying, um, subtracting or uh, dividing? And that is called the rule. Today, we're going to focus on rules that do have subtraction, but one important thing to remember is that the numbers will change constantly. No two numbers are alike, but in an input output table, the rule must stay the same. All right, let's get started. So here we start with our input of 145, output 130. I'm just going to check one more, make sure it's consistent. Input 100, output uh, 85. So our numbers are definitely getting smaller. They're not getting larger, which means it's either going to be a subtraction or a division rule. I can rule out division because 145 divided by any number, whole number is not going to be 130. So I can say with a lot of confidence, this is subtraction. So let's start with the information that we have with our first input, 145. And we said minus, right? Minus blank equals 130. Okay. You remember, you know, way back in first and second grade, and we had this on uh, part five, where your fact families is when you have a set of three numbers that you can interchangeably use to add and subtract. For example, we can go three plus two is five, or two plus three, you can switch them. Well, we can do the same thing here even though the numbers are larger. So 145, instead of saying minus blank, let's do minus 130. Let's see where we get. 145 minus 130 equals 15. And remember, if we have 15 here, so there's our rule. Our rule is going to be a minus 15 rule. All right, so here we've got 50 minus our rule of 15. And that would equal 35. Here, we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna start with our blank. Blank minus our rule of 15 equals 25. Uh, notice this way we're going the opposite direction. Here we've been working from left to right. Here we actually have to work from right to left. We're going opposite. So we're going to use the opposite operation. So the opposite would be instead of minus 15, it's going to be plus 25 plus 15. 25 plus 15 would equal 40, and again, with fact families, that would also be 40. So our last missing number would be 40. So this input output table has a rule of minus 15. Find the rule. Notice that here we're running from uh, the left to the right, and our input is on top this time. So we're working from top to bottom. It kind of works out kind of handy sometimes. 95, 83. That's getting smaller, 78, 66. So we are definitely getting smaller. Once again, I can rule out division because 95 divided by any whole number is not going to be 83. So this is a, a subtraction rule for sure. Um, we could just say 95 minus blank will equal 83. But because of our knowledge of fact families, we can just do 95 minus 83. We can just switch that, right? I'll, I'll show that here just to just to be clear. And I'm going to squiggle that out there. If you don't mind, I'll just I'll just write my answer here. So 95 
minus 83 would equal 12. So our rule is going to be a minus 12 rule. I can prove that again uh, with our original problem before we switched it. 95 minus 12 equals, see how they equals 83? All right, so now it's easy, right? 59 minus 12 equals 47. 33 minus our rule of 12, right? Minus 12 equals 21. Here, same idea. It's going to be blank minus 12, right? Will equal 7. But instead of working from top to bottom, now we're working from bottom to top. In other words, we're going opposite. Well, the opposite would be addition. So instead of uh, uh, subtract 12, we are going with a uh, plus 12. In other words, 7 plus 12, 7 plus 12 would equal 19. And so we have completed this input output table with a rule of minus 12. Go ahead and try this one, find the rule. So pause if you want. Okay, how'd you do? 72 input 64 so it's getting smaller right i'm going to skip this one because there's nothing here but go down this one 45 37 it's getting smaller once again i can rule out division because you cannot divide 72 by any whole number and get 64 so this is a subtraction rule so 72 minus blank equals 64 but because of our fact families we can swap that out so I'm going to actually go 72 minus 64, and that would be 8. So we have a minus 8 rule. I'm going to prove it to you. Let's do 72. Let's make sure. Minus 8, and it should equal 64. Yep, here we go. So for this one, it's going to be 61 minus 8 equals 53. And down here, 33 minus 8, that's our rule, minus 8 equals 25, right? Here, same thing. We're going to go blank minus 8 equals 19. But remember, on this one, instead of working from the left to the right and subtracting, we're working opposite. We're going from the right to the left. So the opposite of subtraction would be addition. We are adding 8 this time, and we're going to take our 19. Remember, we can do that because of fact families. 19 plus 8 equals 27. And in fact families, if it's 27 here, it means it's 27 there. So our last number, our input output table is 27, using a rule of minus 8. All right, everybody, hope this was helpful today, and we'll see you next time.